This is Arnab Goswami here. Hi. Okay. I was uh, really upset because I started uh, using the mic instead of the mic calm down. My, having seen the letter I sent you in the book. What is the language you used with my reporter? Have you seen the letter? Have you, have you watched your language? What, did, what is the kind of language you uh, use with my reporter? I have got it on tape. You use language which is unmentionable, which I don't repeat. Yeah. Right? What would you? No, no. One second. I, I, will you apologize to my reporter for the way in which you behaved with her? I already did. <coughs> you have? No, take, take, take. no. I want a letter of apology from you, Mr. Kenny. I am clear about it. Listen, I am calling you for some other reason. Okay? I, I sent you a book about my constituency. I am not interested in a books about your constituency right now. I am following a story about the sale of MLAs, and I want to know why you abused my reporter, Megha Prasad. Hey, you cannot abuse me of saying I'm for sale, okay? Mr. Kenny, you have abused my reporter. Are you willing to apologize to my reporter? I think your reporter is ready to apologize to me for throwing the mic on my face. I think for the language which you did, you know, you should apologize to the whole country today for the way in which you speak to journalists. Hello? To, to, to hear a clap, you need to um, hang. Mr. Kenny, you were caught outside a hotel where there are 13 other MLAs who are all in in one Mumbai hotel at a time when there is an open talk about the sale of MLAs for a Rajya Sabha election. It's a relevant story. If required, we'll follow you. And if required, I want to make one thing clear to you. We will ask you the questions 10 times and stand in that hotel lobby a million times till we get a requisite reply from you and others. Now, the question is, you used absolutely filthy language to with my reporter Megha Prasad. I'm asking you one more time. Are you willing to apologize for your disgraceful conduct? I am more interested in developing my culture. Do you want to talk about that? Mr. Kenny, what are 13 MLAs doing there in that hotel? Why did you abuse my reporter? No. No. So you will not apologize for the filthy language and I want you to know Mr. Kinney that I would like the whole country to know the kind of language that politicians like you use because you think that you have the wealth, the resources, right, and to abuse journalists in the way that you want. So let me tell you about my intention. My intention is to put out the entire sequence with your filthy abuse so that the whole country and across the world gets to know the arrogance of politicians like you. I will play that out, though it is disgraceful language, I will play it out repeatedly on our channel, only if not for anything else to know the manner in which people like you speak to journalists who are doing their job. Now, you cannot be allowed to get away with arrogance at this level. You are a public representative and be clear today you are not above questioning. Is that clear to you or not? You are not above questioning. And I have seen your language and frankly, you know, this is this is so absolutely disgraceful that I don't feel I need to take the conversation with you any further, Mr. Kenny. If you wish to, you can apologize to my reporter. I am not interested in your book at this point of time. I'm following a big story. The story is not about your book. The story is about the story is about what's happening in Karnataka politics, which has a national impact. I am interested in why the Rajya Sabha elections are not being conducted in a transparent manner. When I'm done with that, I will deal with other issues. Right now, I would like an apology from you for the language you used with my Mumbai Bureau Chief Megha Prasad. Is that clear to you, sir? Okay. Mr. Goswami, I'd be happy to apologize to the, for the incident. And also she should apologize for the way she... No, she will not apologize. She's following a story. You ought to apologize. You ought to apologize in writing. So she should, she could I ask me... You don't decide what questions we ask. I have seen the whole sequence and she was asking you the relevant questions. In response to which you use the kind of language which I feel makes you unworthy of being a public representative. The media is not your, you know, the media is not at your service. We are here to ask you questions. Mr. Kinney, I don't think this conversation is going anywhere. I will run the whole tape. I will run your entire sequence, Mr. Kenny, of what you did in the hotel. Please run it. Not only this, you please run the tape which your lady came to me for the help. We have run it. And now you need to explain what 13 MLAs are doing in that hotel. Yeah, we run the whole tape. What are 13 MLAs doing in that hotel? 
I'm not in big there. I'm not in there. So what I'm talking about? Right now we're talking about your abuse. Uh, am I am I there? Am I there? The hotel? Why did you use that? If there was nothing to hide, then why did you abuse my reporter? Because she threw the mic on my. She was not throwing any mic. Yes. She was asking you questions, and I'm, I must say that she behaved in an absolutely civilized manner, having been subjected to the kind of pathetic verbal abuse that you did. You have no business talking to any journalist in the way that you did, Mr. Kenny. And please be clear, we are not at your beck and call. And the people also know how you behave. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. Thank you. I don't think this conversation is going anywhere now. But you should apologize for the way in which you behaved. Why do you, why do you do? Mr. Kenny, what you've done is on record. She will not apologize. Whether you do or not is for your conscience to ask. I, th I don't think I want to take this conversation any further with you, Mr. Kenny. I want to put this whole thing to bed. Okay, let's forget it. I'm sorry. If it's I'm not here to say, say forget it. You should apologize in writing to my reporter. Oh. I demand a written apology from you to my reporter for what you did. And I want to tell you, Mr. Kenny, people like me are not scared of people like you. So be clear about it. My journalists have done a damn good job. It is you who should be asking questions about what people like you have done to our democracy.